what are the emotions so far? What have you heard? What's the best thing you've heard so far? Oh my God, I don't even want to say it on live TV. It's, it's, it's I'll be too embarrassed to even say, say it. So I'm not good about quoting others. You'll have to get that from other sources, but it was a fulfilling night. It was electrifying. I watched the whole movie with the audience. I, For the, first, the 29th time. You know, the first time I've seen it with an audience with 750 right. people. And it was, uh, it, was, it was insane. But you know what was amazing? <laughs> the power, mm -hmm. the absolute power that came from that screen. And yes. I think I think that uh, he has a gift for doing that. I remember uh, Saving Private Ryan. Remember yes. that? Yes, but yes. This is a man who did Saving Private Ryan. He did Lincoln. He did the, the, the Holocaust. What's I always forget? Schindler's, Schindler's List. List. Schindler's List. He did E.T., which is one of my favorite films because it's really about love. He's a very tender. Well, so is West Side Story. And yeah, so it's hard. West Side Story. But it, he's it's, <laughs> yeah. he's a astonishing and the crowd went crazy with every dance number every song they were cheering and carrying on and screaming you know who was screaming the loudest rachel who played maria she was sitting in front of me and she's spending all her time going woo 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 yeah you, you, you got to think about rachel for a second 17 yeah. year old junior in high school right she sent her self tape in of a song she sang prepared and sent it in she was only one of 30,000 tapes that have been sent in for four roles, Anita, Maria, Bernardo, and Tony. Wow. And uh, the fact that I saw her, ironically, on the first day of casting, where Cindy Tolan, the casting director, had boiled it down and sent me, I, I must have looked at a couple thousand uh, 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 self-tapes. But she was the second person I saw on the first day of casting. I could not believe my good luck that somebody that good showed up on my doorstep on the first day of casting. 17. But like, I, I like, didn't like I didn't, Maria. I didn't trust it. I thought, well, if I find somebody that good on the first day, imagine who I'm gonna find on the 51st day of casting. Didn't and happen. Didn't it happen. Nobody happened. got near her. Nobody got but close. But you know what's interesting about her? Because as now I became a consultant once, I became an exec producer. producer. And he asked me, he said, you know, I'm in love with this young girl. She's just, and he told me her history and how old, which is like Maria. Right. And, and she speaks Spanish and she's Hispanic, but her last name is Zegler. <laughs> what do you think of that? And I said, does she speak Spanish? Where's she from? I think it's Colombia. 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 I said, that's all you have to worry yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> as long, I mean, he was worrying about that very early on in the game of producing this film. And he and Tony Kushner did an incredible job of showing love and respect yeah. for the Hispanic, not just Puerto Rican, but the Hispanic community. I, I, I always include them because there's a lot of us around. No, it, it is. I, and I know you've heard this. And again, sitting in the audience last night watching it, the, the, it, the sequences are so big and beautiful. The clothing speaks volumes and just the, the camera. Yeah. It's the it's, crane is him. <laughs> Everything. I've never even called a crane before. I like they should, that. They should call him. <laughs> they should call him Stephen the Crane Spielberg. My favorite movie. One of my favorite movies. The cranes are flying. <laughs> it's perfect. It works. Um, Rita, for you, and again, I just appreciate the excitement that the two of you have because I know there's so many interviews going on, but this is such a work of art. It is beautiful. Um, did the memories come back to you, Rita, when you stepped on set for this time? Again, being behind the camera now and in front, what, what was it like for you? It, it, it really came back when I had to do the scene with Ariana DeBose, who plays Anita. Right. And I had to suddenly do the part of Doc after she's almost assaulted and I stopped the assault, the sexual yes. assault. And it all came back because when I did that, uh, all of the insults that the boys were, were uh, hurling at me got to old wounds that had never really closed. And I started to cry hysterically and I could not stop. And that's what wow. I came to me. And I remember going to the candy, uh, the counter and putting my hand on my, on my head and I could not stop crying. And I remember that Robert Weiss, the director said, I think we should call an early lunch to give me a chance to recover. It was brutal. It and was you brutal. still had, and, and to, to this day, even you said like to, to be back in, in that atmosphere. To this day, when, there's yeah. a little girl in me named Rosita mm -hmm. who lives, who says, uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and the, the <laughs> level of maturity with me is when I can say to her, go to your room. <laughs> and dispense with her. Right. 
And now we can move forward in a different light of, of that. Yeah, um, that's right. When you auditioned for the role, just as, as you guys were talking about Rachel and, and her coming in, um, when you first auditioned for the role, you initially, you did turn it down? Um, no. On no, 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 what happened, that what happened okay. was that I got the part, I worked my behind off to get that part. Okay. I needed it, I wanted it so badly. But when I started to rehearse by myself before rehearsal started, and I saw the lyric to the, uh, uh, the uh, verse, of America, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, you ugly island, island of tropic diseases. And I went, oh my God, I forgot about that. And I right. almost pulled out. I was going to call my agent. I, I, I remember back and forth, well, maybe I should anyway. And then, you know, the heck with the consequences. And I said, no, I can't do that to my people, I can't. And all I could imagine was calling my agent and saying, uh -huh. I'm pulling out and Aww. you can imagine how him screaming at me. What are you crazy? But you know, I can't do that with my people in the agent being an agent saying the hell with that. You want this part, you <laughs> right. were made for this part. So it was very scary. And then two days later, maybe three days later, I got the new lyrics to the verse. My heart's devotion, let it sink back in the ocean. Very different from tropic diseases. But none of that is in the new version. We right. did not use no. we did not use that language in America in our right. in our West Side story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that thank you for breaking that down because I had read somewhere initially it was Well, I got this close. I did yeah. get this close. Well, we're glad you said yes, okay? And yes. you when we're no. here yes. again. <laughs> had she not said yes, there would not have been an egot in her life. Exactly. Oh, I mean, I this is part of the egot here by the way. I'm just Oh, that's the original that's gown. Yeah. There the it is. Gown I wore Look at that. The, uh, the other um, one wow. word or one thing, I got to wrap out of here, but from the both of you together, is there one thing that you really want the audience to take from this version that you've done this year um, that's going to inspire the next generation like it inspired you, Stephen, originally? Oh, well, just, just if we can, you know, if we can believe in love again, if we can believe in the power of love, and if we can lead with that and, and also be able to get back into a conversation. Uh, a, a conversation to avert a tragedy, not a conversation because of the tragedy. That would be something, if it lands, would make this very relevant to today's young, younger generations. And, and I think also the, the, the idea of living this lifetime, which is what it is, mm -hmm. in this bombastic, incredible way, you come out, really, you come out kind of dizzy, saying, I don't believe what I just experienced. Right. It's astonishing. And yeah. that's because of him. I have a, I, I had a lot of collaborators on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> did. A lot and, of and very good people. And don't forget your new name, Mr. Crane. So we got it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the cranes are flying. There we go. Thank you both. Congratulations on this. Thank you so much.